Louise Sexton, and I am from Knoxville, Tennessee, in the United States. I am a person who is proactive with my health. So I listen to a lot of podcasts and stem cells come up repeatedly as far as things that a person can do to assist their bodies with the aging process, or more importantly, reverse the aging process, which as I get more years is more and more important to me. I researched for Costa Rica because I knew that I wanted to come here to do some plastic surgery. You can see my face. I had an upper and lower eye lift done on Tuesday. Today is Saturday. The healing that has occurred has been phenomenal because I had the stem cell procedure done on Monday. Before that, though, I researched where would be good place to get stem cells in Costa Rica. There's a lot of problems with stem cells if you don't thoroughly do your research. The reason that I was confident in the stem cell clinic here was Dr. Leslie Messon speaks all over the world. He has a beautiful reputation and is incredibly knowledgeable and he is cutting edge. So for me, I wanted to work with someone who was so forward thinking because me too, I am forward thinking. So like wants to be with like. So after I had researched the different stem cell clinics, I arranged through email and asked questions. And it was so nice. He is an excellent communicator. And that gave me a lot of confidence. And I scheduled my um, stem cell procedure for a Monday. And when I came in, first of all, the office staff was lovely. They greeted me, they are bilingual, they were helpful, they liked me as a person. Here, it is you as a person, it is not just another number, it is not just another dollar, it is not. It is, they want to see you do well. So, that really touched my heart. So, I spoke directly with Dr. Messner on Monday and he took a list of the things that were areas of concern for me. And for me, I am 55 years old and my neck hurt from old injuries, my lower back hurt, and then my joints hurt. So for my procedure, he made it special to me. It was not a stamped out formula. So I appreciated that. He listened really well. So they put me under sedation and they used a twilight sedation like they use with a colonoscopy. So that's a very light and easy anesthesia to come up out of. And they did the injections and then they put stem cells intravenously. I'm still a little bruised up. The next day I went and had the uh, face procedure done. The healing is going so well, so rapidly, it is a miracle. So my neck has started to loosen up and I did not expect to see any results for two weeks. However, we're, mm, what, five days out and I'm, my neck is starting to loosen up. I'm still sore from other procedures so I cannot tell about my lower back, but I expect the same. The stem cells that I chose for this procedure, I could have had stem cells pulled out of my hip and put back into these areas. But for me, through reading, I thought young stem cells are stronger. So here in Costa Rica, it was a blessing. I was able to get the placenta stem cells. So they were the young, fresh, feisty stem cells to help me. And from my reading, I believe that the young stem cells help rejuvenate my 
55 year old stem cells. So that is really a blessing that I could not have obtained in the United States. Another blessing that I learned while I was here, there was a patient who had a heart attack two weeks ago. And that patient was so forward thinking that they came to Costa Rica, had their stem cells pulled out of their hips. Doctor, the clinic, the stem cell clinic here did that. And then they were gonna take those stem cells and put them back into the heart to heal the damage on the heart muscle. That patient will probably have a phenomenal outcome far beyond anything that could be obtained in the United States. So I feel so grateful for Dr. Leslie's work. I feel so blessed that I was able to come here and get this procedure. And I would recommend it to anyone, whether it is like me, preventative, or like the patient today, to heal something specific. Oh, so important for the quality of life. So, thank you.